Hey guys, Jamie with Summer Rain Channel. Welcome back. Today we're gonna to be making do-it-yourself strawberry bubble bars. Tell me those aren't adorable. So in case you didn't know, a bubble bar is basically a bubble bath in solid form. So I formulated these to be very hydrating for your bath along with being a bubble bath. So your skin's getting some moisturizing and then you're also getting the bubble bath. I put the full recipe on the video. I also put it in the description box down below and I put a link to my blog. So in my blog, I go more in depth about all the ingredients, why we use them, all of that stuff. So if you're curious, as to why we use a certain ingredient or what you could swap it out for, be sure to hop over to my blog. Without further ado, let's go ahead and make our bubble bars. So before I start making anything, I like to always start out by measuring everything all at one time. So I don't like to pull my scale out and then put it away and keep going back and forth. I find it a lot easier just to do all my measuring kind of in the beginning. And then I have all of my ingredients right there. And I feel like it just makes the process a lot easier for me. We're gonna start out by going ahead and grabbing a heat safe container. So we need to melt our butters. So we're gonna start by putting our coconut butter and our shea butter into the heat safe container. Now we're gonna go ahead and pop this on a double boiler until it's completely melted. Go ahead and grab yourself a mixing bowl. So I like to start out by putting all of my dry ingredients into my mixing bowl. So we're gonna go ahead and add our baking soda citric acid, cream of tartar, and SLSA. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and mix this up just a wee little bit and make sure that you're careful when you're doing it because the SLSA can kind of poof up in the air and get in your lungs a bit. So just gently give it just a little bit of a stir. We'll mix this better once we get our wet ingredients in here. Next, we wanna go ahead and add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. So our coconut butter and shea butter have melted completely. So we'll go ahead and pop that in there. Next, I'm gonna add the strawberry fragrance oil fractionated coconut oil, vegetable glycerin, and our polysorbate 80. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mix this all up. It should just take like a minute or two to get all the clumps mixed through. And like when I'm mixing, I'm kind of pushing down because there's little clumps in there that you need to break up. Now I kind of want to show you the consistency here. As you can see, it's still pretty wet and you're going to be like, man, this feels a little bit too wet for a bubble bar, but it's not. It's going to end up hardening up. So just go ahead and add your coloring at this point. Now I'm doing two colors, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the green. And I don't need much of the green, so I'm just gonna pop a wee little bit into this container. So we're gonna add our green mica powder. And then we're gonna go ahead and just mix that in there really good. Now when I'm mixing, I find that like smushing it up against the edge of the container really helps it mix in there just a little bit better. Now that our green is mixed, we'll go ahead and set that off to the side. And then we'll go ahead and mix in the red mica powder. Now the same thing with this is you kind of want to smush it because you really don't want any like white parts of the bubble bar to be showing. And I think I want my red to be just a little bit more vibrant so I'm going to add a bit more mica powder. So go ahead and put down a bit of wax paper and then we're just going to put our bubble bar mixture right here and go ahead and grab your mold. So when I'm making these, I always start with the red part. I just kind of put it in the center part and then I come in with a bit of green and I put it for the top. So once you have the first one in there, what you're gonna wanna do is just kind of quickly fill in all of the molds. So I'll put the red on the bottom and the green on the top and I don't worry about like smushing it down too much right now. I just kind of want to get the colors placed to where they're supposed to be. <laughs> if I don't do it this way I tend to like mix the colors up more than I should so I kind of just want to situate my colors before I worry about pressing it down too much. 
once you're done with that, go in and you're really gonna add a lot more pressure this time. So really push down and like smush everything into the mold and smooth out the bottom of it. And you need to do this to make sure you have a nice compact bubble bar and also to make sure that you get like all of the details in the bubble bar from the strawberry. So really push it in there, smush it down with your thumb and then come back and just smooth them out. Now we're gonna go ahead and unmold these. And there's two different ways to do it. So the first way is to grab it, push with your thumb in the center. And here I'll do one more. You kind of like push in the center with your thumb. Now you can see those will leave a little bit of an imprint. So when you push it out this way, you get a little dent in the middle of the strawberry, which is fine, but let me show you another way to do it. So another way to do it is to pull really hard on the edges, like I'm talking, you're using quite a bit of strength here to loosen up the edges. Now, once you do that, do it upside down. So do that and like shake it at the same time. This is such a weird way to unmold, but I think they look a little bit nicer. So let's do that again. We're gonna pull really hard on the edge and give it a shake and there is our bubble bar. It's really up to you if you prefer to do it this way where you're really having to pull on it and not get a dent or if you like the one with a dent in the center. Now it's also important to mention that you can remold these as many times as you want. Like this one has a little bit of a green at the top that has red there. So we'll add a bit of the green here and then it has a dent. So we'll add just a little bit of red and you just pop it back in the mold and really push down. So you need to make sure that like the new piece and the old piece kind of stick together and then you can just unmold it. So if you wanted to do these a few different times to make sure you got them perfect, you absolutely can. And there are our finished strawberry bubble bars. They're too darn cute. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy making your own. Bye.